Alright lads, so it's finally time to showcase the team that I have been using for this week of Guild Quest, the ranged story per week of Guild Quest, and it's finally time to showcase the power of a Max Transcended Bruno, uh, using it to the best of his abilities, right? Now this is where he really does shine in Guild Quest, and this is why a lot of us have been hyping up Bruno, because he's able to do things that not a lot of other characters can do, and that is pretty much dominate Guild Quest when you do have a Max Transcendence. That said though, before I do showcase the run that we did do, it's a very quick run at that, it's only literally a couple seconds long. I want to quickly explain the team, the thought process of the team building, and why it does work. So for example, let's talk about Bruno first. Bruno is a power character, the final boss's technique, very important, we do more damage, but the main thing about Bruno is his soul bomb damage. Because he is a character with weakening on his soul bomb, plus bombardment, which is essentially double damage on your soul bomb, it allows us to nuke like this special move damage thing isn't here, you know, special move damage is cut in half, uh, but when your Sobom is doing double the damage, you basically are going back to the normal difficulty where there's no damage cut in half on your Sobom, so it pretty much allows you to nuke to the final wave if you get the right sync up. So Bruno being a maximum standard character, a power character with bombardment, with weakened on his Sobom, and also giving him weakened defense, it allows us to do a lot of Sobom damage, and when we're looking at the build, we're trying again prioritizing the Sobom damage, so we gave him a tension tie, we gave him a Kamari to get 50% SP plus the additional 30% for the second tray, and then we gave him the Sword Press Sticker to get that forward spin extra killer effect, and again also 30% Spiritual Pressure. As for the links, we're giving him full stam links to again prioritize him doing a lot of damage on his Soul Bomb. So we have a full stam link here, another full stam link with a bit of extra strong attack damage from these two links, and then we gave him another 25% full stam link. And again, just to make sure you lads are aware of it, we have a 25% full stam link from the uh, bonus abilities and also weaken defense. So when we do actually nuke to the final wave, the defense is weakened so we can then do more damage and quickly clear up in one strong attack. Ichigo. He is here, even though he isn't a ranged character, he does have Marauder, therefore he can actually do damage, and yes, he is doing less damage than a ranged character, but his main priority here is to be the boost of the team. Boost is very important in Guild Quest, and you want to make sure that almost every team does have at least one team booster, and that is what Ichigo is here to provide. Now, lucky for the AI in, in Guild Quest is when you are a boost character, you instantly use that SA2. So Ichigo, the second the quest spawns in, he's going to spam his SA2, which is a 960 in front of him, allowing him to clear up potential enemies in front of him, which is actually very, very good. Now, that's pretty much all there is about here. Ichigo is here just for the boost, but he does also do a decent amount of damage, and these are the builds that, that we did go with him. Now, one thing I didn't know, and I only just realized literally two minutes ago, is that he doesn't have damage to weaken enemies. So, what you are going to see in a few minutes' time is the run is without the most ultimate build, because he's supposed to have damage to weaken enemies to therefore do more damage. So, I, I'm actually very annoyed at myself that I didn't know this, so the team isn't as optimal as it's supposed to be, because he has weakened defense, which is basically a wasted skill. Once I change this, which I will change later today in my own time, I'm going to change that to damage to weaken enemies to therefore do more damage and clear potentially faster than the run you're about to see. But damage to weaken enemies plus force damage is definitely the go-to here for Ichigo, because we are going to weaken on our Sol Bomb with the Bruno, so we're guaranteed the weakening on the final boss, and therefore, you know, we're just doing more damage to the, those enemies, right? After that, though, we have 6th Anniversary Aizen. Of course, he's here. He's one of the best characters in the game. He does a lot of crazy damage, so when you can use him here, you know you're going to use him. Aizen's build is as follows. We have a sticker, we have a artisanal tea set, and then we also have the fort pill, and then again, we have just three full stem links. Very, very simple explanatory, right? Again, for his links, we have what we were supposed to have with Ichigo. So, Aizen has the full stem boost, plus the extra damage to weaken enemies. That's what Ichigo was supposed to have, but apparently he didn't have it. And that's basically the general gist of the team. Uh, the only problem with this team is that you have to sync up the soul bomb to your two characters using the strong attacks. And because Aizen doesn't have a boost strong attack, he doesn't always use the SA when you want him to, and that does kill a lot of runs. So even though we get a very quick clear time, it actually does take a hot minute, potentially an hour of resetting to actually get this run. So with that said, let's jump into the run, showcasing my new personal best score within this game. Alright, so here's the run. So this is going to happen very, very quick, but the general idea is just the soul bomb. When they use their strong attacks, we basically get to the final boss, and then we use a strong attack to clear them up. And that's basically the general gist of the team. And you can see there, we got like a two second run. This isn't the fastest run I did get. I, was om I almost got a sub one second yesterday that unfortunately I didn't record because I got it my first attempt. But that's the general idea of the team. Even though we got a two second run here, normally, it was 1.8 seconds here. Uh, it really depends on the strong attacks they do use, and the damage that you can actually dish out. Because sometimes 
sometimes you can actually clear in less than a second, sometimes it might be three seconds, sometimes it might be two seconds. It really comes down to RNG on when they use their strong attack. But that's the general idea of the team. It's a very short run. Uh, it's literally just a two second clear time. I'm still shooting for that sub one, but again, as I mentioned, I didn't have the right bonus ability on Ichigo during this run. He had weakened defense instead of damage to weakened enemies. So now I'm confident that when I do actually change that later today and actually try the run again, I should be able to get a sub one second, which is definitely the end goal for me personally for this week. That said though, that's basically the team that I have been using for this week of Guild Quest. So I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what team you'd like to use in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.